kids. Today, we are doing Mentos and soda science experiments. Cool. I have done that experiment at North Pembroke Elementary a lot in kindergarten and early first grade. Miles. We are doing that for today's lesson. At least 45 minutes before lunch. Where are your teaching assistants? That's my question. Miles. My TAS are Erin and her daughter Marie the AU Fox. You'll meet them once they get here. They are on their way. Does Marie sneeze? I remember looking at videos of foxes sneezing once. Oh yeah, Miles. Marie sneezes very loud. It's an ah you. You'll experience it in the future, or maybe today. Ah you? It's supposed to be an ah chew. Miles. Everybody sneezes differently. Marie's was just an ah you. I know Miles. Her sneezes are wicked loud. Oh no! Marie's gonna eye you. What if she sneezes on you in my ear next to me? Please take me out of the classroom. Miles. You'll be okay. We can't control when someone else sneezes. You will be fine, I promise Miles. When Marie sneezes on you, laugh about it. Don't be scared. That's Marie and her mother. Let me open the door. Good morning, Aaron and Marie. Pleased to see you too this morning. Morning. I see the new boy just started recently from North. Marie. He is now at Habomak with us because of his house location. Do you want to meet him? He does not have autism nor special needs. But he does have a DHD. Good morning, Miles. You're gonna you sneeze, and I never heard a fox like you sneeze on you before. Miles. It's okay. Marie is one of my teaching assistants in my classroom. Don't be so scared, buddy. Everything will be all right, my boy. This change is a little scary, isn't it? Marie. Please don't I use so loudly in my ear in the future or today. Unfortunately, Miles, I cannot control that. When I all you sneeze, I just all you it out. Not too loud, Marie. I'm scared. Miles. Can you please stop crying so I can talk about today's lesson? Okay, I'll stop. That's my boy. Class. Does anybody know how to do Mentos mixed with soda? Tell us about it. There is a pretty cool thing you can do with a bottle of soda pop and a packet of Mentos. Let's try it. Students. We need to first make a tube for the Mentos. Who wants to do the first step? Can I go first, teacher? Yes, Riley, you may. Your job is to put the Mentos into the Diet Coke. Cut a piece of paper so that it is as wide as a roll of Mentos. Wrap the paper around the pack of Mentos to make a tube. Use masking tape to tape the tube closed. Remove the pack of Mentos from the tube. Close off one end of the tube by cutting a little circle or square of paper and taping it to one end of the tube. Open the pack of Mentos and place all of them in the tube. We did step one. What do we need to do next? Make a Mentos and soda fountain. That's correct, Miles. We need to slowly and carefully open a new bottle of Diet Coke. Next, we need to place it on a flat area outside where it is okay to get wet with soda. Here is good enough. The next step is to put the open end of your tube of Mentos on the card and place it directly over the opening of the soda bottle. When you guys are ready, we remove the card and let all the Mentos drop into the soda at once and quickly move out of the way. This is awesome, isn't it? Yes, it is, Miles. We need to wrap up the lesson and wash our hands for lunch. Today's lunch is chicken nuggets, smiley fries, broccoli, and a choice of milk.